The goal isn't to live forever. The goal is to create something that will. Today, I have the honor to reintroduce you to Julius Bature Irequita. Born in the year 1938, he's survived by wives, children, brothers, sisters, in-laws, and other relatives. So today, we are here to remember the life and legacy he left behind. It was a very long and a simple life, and he had good intentions towards others. So we want to hear from other people to see what they have to say concerning late Chief Bature Julius. So follow us, I will go see I'm the General Alfred Logo, retired. What's your relationship with the late Chief? The late uh, Julius Bature Irequita is my uncle. What do you have to say about him? He's a very good man. It's a man who has what we call personal, interpersonal relationship with a lot of persons. I grew up to know him very well because he was a confidant of my father, who is late now. And I learned what it takes for elders to be together in a pleasurable relationship. That lesson of being the best of elders is very much a week would be up to date. Right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I'm Chief Godwin, the Namino, the Akpa Gio for the Kingdom. What's your relationship with the late chief? Okay, this the late uh, chief is my subject. He's next to me in the palace. He's the subject of my own palace. He lives above the quarters. What do you have to say about him? In fact, <laughs> I'm short of words. In fact, he lived uh, an extraordinary life. Worthy of emulation. So, in fact, I'm supposed to be crying now, but I have to console myself because he was actually next to me in the palace. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So, so what's your name? My name is Elijah Little with Equita. What's your relationship with it? It's my senior brother. This father is the mother. He happened and he happened as God said. And we pray that he just left will go and safely for where he comes from. And he will send also, we hope that he has to greet our mother and our father for us. And we give our information to them that we are fully fine. But we are fully on them. This is where they leave us to go. Never mind. Everything is that God wanted. The same thing as our father ago, we are still to try to leave this table and go and meet him. But we pray our love life before we go down there. So you people come to find out what is happening. The same thing, the same father and mother. And uh, do you say, could I leave the seat now? I do want that to come to see that. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to have a good I'm i this is history. Assistant political editor of Vanguard. Okay. What's your relationship with the late? Um, I know uh, True Rose Beture, who happened to be a schoolmate in Amadou Bele University, Zaria. I'm from this, I don't know. I'm from Akoko, I'm from Ipeshi. 
So Rose and I were all in ABU, Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. When I was in literature, she was in sociology. So that also... So that what do you have to say about him? Uh, we thank God for his life. We thank God for the life God gave to him. We thank God for bringing up his children in the right way. I can see that the children are successful. They are okay. If we didn't bring them up in the right way, some of them would have been useless. So with what they read about him today, it shows that he brought them well, he proved them well, and he showed them the right way to go. And now they are going to live after him, and they are going to continue with the legacy he left behind. So every parent should emulate Chief Eric Pitak uh, Peturi, because he brought the children in the right way was always advising them with the proverb of Esako, the proverb of FMI. So that was why the children did not go astray. And I'm happy for him. I pray for him. I pray that his soul and the soul of other faithful departed through the Christ of God should rest peacefully in the bosom of the Lord. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. It's not a loss, it's a gain to heaven. What do you have to say? Mm, I've said it all. My dad is, I'm not going to say was, was is in the past tense, because my dad is still living, he's just resting in the Lord, he's a great man, a man that loves God, a man that stands for the truth, a man that is honest, a man that is dedicated, a man that loves the children. He gave us his yesterday for today. He believed in us and he made sure he brought out the best in his children. A man that eschewed evil and loved God, even before his, dem his demise, he served God diligently. Right, thank you very much. Yes, um, I sincerely feel sad over my father's death because his death was sudden. It came at a time I never expected in the course of my existence. I sincerely felt bad and I felt something is completely out of me. Because all my life is replicate of what my father has taught me about. I missed his uh, advices and I remember how he brought me up. He made me who I am today. Until eternity, I will never forget my father. I really miss my dad. What are your prayers? I wish him everlasting rest. I wish him peaceful stay in the heavens. But I know my father ascended to heaven. Please, what's your name? My name is Samson Baturi Rekita. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am Chief Peter Lega, the palace secretary. The man we are doing his ceremony today without missing where laid by Elder Veture Irequita. He's a man that was a man of humility, a man with humbleness, a man of wisdom that never proved that he's somebody. But when you get close to him, you will see his words. He came home in 2016 when he became the eldest man in our palace. And whenever issues are being presided over, his sweat of experience, we are of immense support to the growth of the society. If you look at what is happening today and the kind of people, the caliber of people that come, not just that the children were the richest, but with the, the way he was and the way he brought them up, that's why you see all that is happening here today. That even the Uralo, the eldest man in this community, never come to a garden like this. But he has to come because he was part of the elders' council. And the entire council of chiefs were here. His royal majesty was here. The Ogan of the entire clan and the Okwekwe of Iraqo, the immediate ruling house in the community where the man presided as the eldest chief, the, the, the house was in full. So I think I'm short of words to describe whom he was, but going through 
the tributes are the profile in the in the program you will discover that it's it actually what what the children and the entire community are giving to him to do. Yeah. We are happy because uh, we are here celebrating our father who lived very well that went to the greatest. We know that the God Almighty has accepted him. We are happy, you see, everywhere is colorful. This is a celebration. This is Iraq, Iraq or township. This one has demonstrated that we have those people that can make it in this local government, in this state, in this country as a whole. Iraq, we are proud of so many great people. It's the one of them we are celebrating who has just passed away. We thank everybody that attended this occasion. We thank everybody. As you are going back, they will be going back. They will go back in safe journey in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Your name, please. My name is Blessing Suri Oyedo. What's your relationship with the late chief? He's my father. A great man. He's my father. And what do you have to say about him? Well, everything has been said, but what I still have to say about him is that we love him so much and we promise him that we'll take, after, we'll take his footsteps, that everything he has taught us, we'll make sure we keep to it and wish him rest and good night. Thank you very much, man. And safe journey home. My name is our chief, Richard Okozin. Okay, what's your relationship with the late chief? Thank you. The family friends, or the family attenders, reputable families, and uh, that is why we are here for the celebration of life of the what late father. Uh, what do you have to say father. about him? The yes, he was nice when he was alive. He had done his best, and you can see what is happening here today. Nobody to be told that the man live a life, he has left sorted behind. So that is why we are all here celebrating him. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am Honorable Bernard Dosiragwini. Okay. So how well do you know the late Chief Julius? The man is a man with passion. You, if you watch very well, you see the entire community uh, rally around this gathering because the man was a generous man to the call. Anything you want for the man, he gives it to you with passion, without hesitation. What's your relationship with him? The man, the couple that I was also in the north, I spent some years in Kaduna. When he was, in, he was our national champ, that is the chairman of IPU, if you are local progressive unit, Kaduna branch. So, he, he knows how to organize. There was a man who was playing a father-like role to us when we were in Kaduna. So as a result of that, and, and what you are seeing here today is a replicant of the man, of the old man, the late uh, Julius, the replica. That is what the activity are related to do. So that is why you see everybody is gathered here to give the last uh, honor for a bye-bye to the old man. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, sir, what's your name? My name is Napoleon Osihena Idenala. I am a legal practitioner with offices in Kaduna and Abuja, and I'm a friend of the family. What do you have to say about the death of the late chief Julius Baturi Rekita? It is not a sad thing. He died at the age of 82. And God blessed him to have seen his to have given him the strength and capacity to take care of his children to adulthood and God has blessed him to see his children do well and to see his grandchildren and perhaps some great-grandchildren. I've known the family for about 25 years now from Kaduna and uh, this is not an occasion for sadness. 
is an occasion for joy that he has transisted without suffering the family and without the family going through emotional trauma. He lived well, he groomed them well, and they are now giving him a befitting send forth. It is well. What are your prayers for him? My prayers for him? He lived well, he died happily, and may the good Lord see him true to the heavenly kingdom in peace in eternity. And may good Lord comfort his family, unite them, and may they continue to progress and to make his legacy to continue to grow in leaps and bounds on all frontiers. So what's their, their, what's their relationship with the late chief? Uh, Peter is a good friend, a sister. So what do you have to say about him? You can see uh, from the attendance that um, she comes from a humble, good family. Their father left a legacy. He left uh, solid children that would even do greater exploits uh, beyond where he stopped. The whole community is in support of what they are doing. That's to tell you the kind of life their father lived and um, his impact on the entire community at large. And everybody is happy. He's happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, um, for me, is the worthy celebration of an illustrious father by the children who he has nurtured. You know, there can be no better evidence of a life well spared than this. And um, please, what's your name? Yeah. My name is Chief Richard Lamar. Thank you, sir. I'm thanking God for life. Baba is a good man. We came safely. Devil tried, but he failed. Mm. Devil is a liar. Yes, sir. Our car entered on that truck, but we are alive. Yeah. My friend is a good girl. She's a good friend. We've been coming all the way for very long. Mm. I cannot, I cannot even miss this occasion because Baba is a good person. Yes. Baba is good. Yes. He stood by us. Yes. Our car entered on that truck, but Baba was, he was with us. Yes. Almighty God was with us. Yes. See me today, I'm alive. He reached my thank God. Though. Yes, I thank God for my friend. Yes, she too will see her children, children. Amen. Good children will end us too. Amen. Uh, we will pass 82. Amen. We will do many, 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 many years in life Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Death will not separate us. Amen. Enemies will not separate us. Amen. We will live long. Amen. Mama will grow older than Baba. Amen. We are still coming back to this village. Oh. Yes, oh. When Mama is on yes, oh. we will come back by God's grace. Yes, oh. It is where well. I'm alive. Oh. My name is has changed from Falakemi to testimony. Amen. Thank you very much. My name is Nelson Aliu. Um, what do you have to say about the death of late chief Julius Baturi Rekwita? He was a great chief, a great father. In fact, a father indeed who have gathered many children, both grandchildren and other children. In fact, he's a father that we can never recognize. In fact, everybody will recognize. We give him glory and he will believe that by the total grace of God that the Lord has accepted him. He is a great loss. But to us, we believe that yes, it is a life fulfilling. And we give God the glory that the occasion was also good and everything was okay. What are your prayers for him? My prayers for him is that he's going to prepare a well good, uh, at least, ground for we that are still living. So that we, the children, by the special grace of God, we will be able to learn and take their footsteps. Hello. Your name, please. Engineer Adaji Usman. Okay, so what do you have to say about the gathering? Well, so far so good. We are here in uh, Iroha for the burial of our father, a man of honor, a great man, a man who is seen as a father to all. So today, I think um, what we are saying here is that the man is not gone. He has only got to rest, just like they say during the service program here. He has only gone to rest. And God's willing is resting in the bosom of the Lord. I think that's just the much I can say. Thank you very much. God bless you. Eh, me asayana ikwekame loku. 
no key reputa. So no no maza yana. A for a pa na pena or su and we my kuka. If we chas in my masayana, Dora Melu, or chas ye gua. So okay my ye or ye on the wuna so so at the okay okay po on the wuna. Inoki is chief in Nato on the wuna. Ora okona wuna so okay nano ya and of sea. Thank you. Okay, so what so, do you have to say? Uh, from the Living Ch Faith Church, Iraq. Our head, uh, late head, uh, Chief Julius Irequita was a devoted Christian, was a man of God. He served God to the day of the God calling. He was committed in the things of God. Joseph never take, Chief Julius never take the things of God lightly. He was devoted to follow God. When he, when he called him the times of to come for God, he always be their head. And he was a man that keep record. He was a man that walk in integrity. A man that love God. He don't play with the things of God. He take the things of God as his own business, as his own job. He's a soul winner, win people to Christ, do the same. Anytime when we are in confusion in the church, we call him. He's the one that would say, let's do it, let's do it like this. At the end, when we do it, when we follow, we see it work out for our good. So I come to say, the man, to me, the man is not dead. He has gone to be with God. Going to rest with his bosom, with his father. So I say, thank God for his life well spent on head. He lived a good life. And this man, is not, is, he did not live on drugs. He's not a person, he's not a, he's not a person that lives on drugs. He lived early, all the time. He was early and sound. So he's a very neat man and humble man. So when we are in church, we like, we like, we are the children, we are home with our father. So. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Are you ready? Your name, please. My name is Mrs. Osikwe, Benedita Osikwe. So what's, what's your relationship with the late chief? It's my, it's uh, sister's cousin. It's my sister's cousin. Okay. So the wife, so the wife of the late chief, Irekuta, um, chief, chief of Irekuta. How well do you know him? How well? What do you have to say about him? He's a kind man, he's a philanthropic, and he's a man of peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Adekola. What's your relationship with the late chief? Uh, the first one of the family is my boss. This is Peter. So what do you have to say concerning, what do you have to say about the late chief? Uh, particularly that papa, that is a uh, step aside. Papa is good to me, seriously. But if, if, if I want to write this your Baba, anytime I get to village, Baba must do some money. <laughs> you know, when I did for me, Baba started kissing me, kissing me, kissing me, you know. Very, very interesting, you know. Baba is a friendly. He's a friendly to people. You have that. So, Thank you very much. Your name? My name is David Dillard. What's your relationship with the late chief? I'm the direct cousin to the family. What do you have to say about him? What do you have to say about him? him. Well, there are a lot to say about him, though. And if I should start to say, I want to say who that he is to us. If he's sincere, I won't be able to say them all because they are just a lot. Because before that he died, or yes, before that he died, I would say he came right away from Greenwich here yeah, to Kaduna to restore something that has been in the family for a very long time. That's these that have not been in the family within families. I don't know if you can get me. So that is the exact thing that daddy came to do. He came to restore peace in a home of which ah, no. he did a very great thing about that. If it's only that, that is that him. Eh? Everybody in the family of Yurek Peter are very proud of him. And to be sincere with you, really missed an icon. He is indeed an icon. Why? Because you won't understand, and the world itself won't understand. But it is just the family of Yurek Peter that will understand this more. 
I'm telling you. But no, we give glory, glory be to God that dad had to die that way. The event has finally come to an end. How do you feel? Fulfilled. Except for my immediate younger sister, Mrs. Rosalind Adams. She's in the US. Of course, because of the COVID, she couldn't make it here. I missed her a whole lot. I really do miss her. But uh, she sent me to my dad and I conveyed her message to my dad. I want to let her know that her presence is here with us. And we're here with her in the spirit. Because it's all about God from the beginning. Because God is involved. We're not under pressure. We're not burdened. It just happened. And because we know our Father loves us so much. And He desires the best for us. Even after life. So what do you have to tell those watching you right now? Just to let them know that it pays to serve God. And it pays to raise godly children. Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Good vibes are not forever and not the end. It simply means I will miss you till we meet again. Death is something that will definitely come to each and every one of us. But my prayer is it comes when we all are in the right way with God. May the soul of the late chief Julius Bature Irekita rest in the bosom of the Lord. I am Queen Harriet Umoru reporting for Focus TV Nigeria. See you next time. Bye. My light, my strength, my song, this cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still and when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. Christ, I'll stand.